Well, I figured I'd do another video on an application. This is Mission Center. And uh, this pretty much is what looks like a duplicate of the task manager from Windows 11. And for good reason, it's what we're all used to at this point. I like it because it organizes everything and honestly it just gives you a better view and layout than the normal ones you would get with, you know, well, this. The hell is this? Like, I'm going to be completely honest, when I went to Linux, I, I just was like, this isn't it. This is not good enough. And now that we finally have something that is good enough, I'm pretty damn happy. The only thing cool about this is the lines, when you really do something crazy, it makes some cool art. But where's the graphics card? Here's your disk, but which disk is doing the writing? This is just the main one. And then this is just your internet, and like, it doesn't show very much. And then you got your file system. Yeah, look at that. It doesn't show every drive, it just shows the ones that are mounted, so it's annoying. But this shows you your main NVMe, my secondary MVP, my third NVMe, all of my hard drives. Even when they're not connected, there they are. Like, even when they're not mounted. So, yeah, this one sort of wins. And it gives you a good readout and layout on what your internet's doing. Mine's doing nothing at the moment, it's just sitting. This is best cord doing this, by the way. And then it gives you a good readout on your GPU temperatures, uh, your OpenGL version, your memory speed, and memory usage. Why is it that? Do we have something open we shouldn't? Do we? Is it you? Close you then. No, I don't know what's doing that. It's probably because we're recording that it's doing this. But it does show you everything and it gives you the same options that Windows does. So it's, you know, it works. Overall utilization uh, and logical processors. I like keeping it this way because you get to see what the cores are doing. And then in a nutshell, you know, with that, that goes away. I wish there was one here to make all of this go away to just have this as like a desktop widget. Then it shows your apps and it shows your processes, you know? So it works and it actually works well and looks well. And here's the cool part. Unlike most apps, it looks good when you add blur to it. So if I go to blur my shell and I go to application and I add the window, look at that. Now it's fancy, it's fancy. Take a look at the options. Update interval, chart data points, uh, merge process stat. Let's try that. Remember sorting and set CPU scale to core count. I don't know what that does, but we did a thing. Everything seems normal here. Eh, that looks a little cleaner. Oh, now we get to see where everything's coming from, which is kind of cool. It did a thing. Look, there's OBS. It's doing OBS type things. Anyway, the whole reason I'm bringing this up is because it's working. It works. And you can find it simply by typing mission center. I said mission control, didn't I? It should be called mission control. But this is mission center. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's just one of those quick little really cool apps. And uh, it's on Flathub, so all you really need to do is either go in here and do that, or you can go to uh, Terminal and type Flatpak install. Well, I don't know if it worked like this. I don't really know the name. Mission Center. I think it would probably be this. Yep, it's right there. Mission Center. So capital M and capital C. Anyway, if you enjoy these type of videos, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to stay for another two or more content on Linux. And I'll see you guys next time. This is Gnome, by the way. And we're on Fedora 40. And you can find a video on how to make your Gnome look like my Gnome on my channel by searching Gnome 46 in my channel. Or take a look at my Linux guides playlist. Bye.